live from wherever you are right now, it's the news! Hey guys, it's me, Holly Gallegos. Today I'm going to talk about a book of true meaning. A book that is full of questions. The Mouse with the Question Mark Tale. This book is about a mouse with a question mark tail who doesn't know his name or family history. So he sets off on an epic adventure to find his true meaning in the world. Now for the Charlie Flanagan with the na nationwide opinions about this book. Hey everybody, my name is Charlie Flanagan, here to bring you what people are saying about the mouse with the question mark tail. First up, Valerie Sosin from Rhode Island comments, best book in the history of books. I'm hoping for a sequel. Molly Versinus quotes, I've read this book at least 10 times. Can't stop smiling. McKenna Lily White says, Since our light doesn't work in our New Jersey home, I've been going outside to eat. The sun helps me imagine I'm Mouse Minor. Austin Montes says, Somebody asked me to read this book, so I said, My Montana backyard looks like the muse. So I rated 100 million. Now over to guest critic Lucas Hardegy for goods and bads in this book. Hello everyone, I'm Lucas Daniel Hardegy, the book critic. I'm here to bring you the goods and bags I have about this book. There are two goods and one bad. First of all, the good. The first good is, Mouse Miner asks a lot of questions, and so does the reader. That's what makes it enriching. Good number two, because the book is told in the first person point of view, it really opens about how the character is feeling. Now, the bad. The bad is, I think that there could have been more characters in the book. That would have made the book more interesting. That's all for me. Back to you, Holly. Well, quite a story. That's all for today, folks. See you next time on The Critic.